Hello, my fellow player characters, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Alright, first of all, I've got to apologize for this being a couple of days late. Um, I had some problems with my audio equipment, as well as a brownout, so I had to record this twice, and then the sound didn't come out. So, uh, I've loaded up an old save, and I'm going to be going back through what I had done, but uh, last time we went ahead and randed, randed, raided the bandits camp and then we went and spoke with a zombie about accomplishing a goal of killing the staglord which we were already gonna do so hey extra rewards for no extra work but right now we have to go to this old giant sycamore tree greetings Keston Garrus, the former captain of Jumandi Aldori's personal guards, nods to you, as though you'd seen each other in Rustov only yesterday. Well, it was only a couple of days ago, and it hasn't been that long. Uh, he limps noticeably, and his clothes are stained with blood, and looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met. But this time, you also sense a hint of excitement in his eyes. I have urgent news from Rustov. The investigation that I have conducted in Lady Jamandi's orders have proved your innocence. Tartuccio was and still is the taxi spy. Of course he was. That dreadful night it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. I mean, he's perfect. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Elori's support only to later place these lands under the command of its true patron. King Yerovetti is no stranger to injury and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Anyway, Lady Jamandi sends her apologies. Well, I would hope so. I mean... I'm not purple, so, I mean, I, did you know he's a kobold now? It's really, really funny. He is a purple kobold. Anyways. We almost had Tartuccio cornered by this damn mist. First, we entirely lost our way, and then stumbled right into a band in the bush. My people can barely stand, so I would be grateful if you would help us capture this Tartuccio. He must be somewhere nearby. Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. The Sword Lords will remember his fate. Okay, I can do that. But did you know that he is now a purple kobold? You know, now that I think about it, I wonder if Tartuccio was always a kobold and he was just pretending to be a gnome. Since gnomes don't typically come in purple, and sometimes kobolds do. Anyways, that's a discussion for another time. Uh, how did Tartuccio manage to fool you? That sly bastard has caused us no little trouble, that's for sure. When he showed up in Restoff and announced he was going to join the expedition, nobody suspected a thing. Yes, a gnome, yes, a sorcerer, but so what? He was purple. Even after that terrible night, some of my people were willing to bet money on you being a spy. And again, I will emphasize, he's purple. Like all of him. He's all purple. His overconfidence was his downfall. Tartuccio's henchmen, it seems, imagined they could safely meet with the taxi and spies in the town's seedy underbelly. But Restoff is the ancestral home of the Eldori, and Lady Jamandi is respected not only by the aristocracy and the common folk, but also by those on the other side of the wall. We received a message from the slums. A good friend, who wished to remain anonymous, suggested the sword boys take a closer look at a certain guest from the towns. Jamandi immediately sent for me and ordered me to capture the spot, all very quiet. Course. He told us everything, and not only about Tartuccio. I doubt that Irvetti was pleased to hear of his agent's failure. Uh, this is a stupid question. I mean, Irvetti obviously just wanted more land, uh, and, you know, having somebody else pay for that se uh, seizing of land, then, you know, all the better. But uh, this is also a discussion that I don't care about, so I'll see you later. Farewell. I think if you show interest in him later on, something could happen, but I always tend to not side with him later on. Maybe I'll do that this time. Okay, so here we have an encounter with kobolds and mites. Cavalry traitors! Sons of a pike, return the relic. Coward, turn relic. 
Salute, salute, come on, but good luck for your, good luck your Renicure dungeon. Look under bed, under table. <laughs> so that kobold have no bed and no table? Search your eggs. You lose relic and blame might. Accuse queen. Lies, chief soot scale not silly. Lies, chief scale. Such hubris and such small and simple creatures. But are our own monarchs any better? So warlike, it's like a miniature version of the Talden Imperial Chronicles. Uh, stop. What's going on here? Stranger. Mm -hmm. I already forgot what his voice was. Stranger, stranger, you see us? Silly kobold attack might insult us, our magnificent queen. Lies, mighty thief. Steal relic from kobold. We revenge. Help us, stranger. Uh, because I'm neutral, and this one's actually usually the one I go with, so you can either side with the mites or the kobolds, and, you know, one will be friendly, one will be aggressive, but uh, this one, I think, is probably the best one if you don't just want to farm the creatures for XP. If you just want to farm them for XP, uh, you could say you're all disgusting, I don't want to help any of you and attack everybody, but... Well, and you can also... Well, let me ask them. Uh, so, kobolds, tell me more about what happened. I... I, chief, I name Sotscale. Kobold and might live here long, live peace. But now, might thief, steal our relic. Thief, kill, relic. Now, do you know the relic was stolen by the mites? Might Trixie. But Chief Sutscale is more tricksy. I call no shaman come. Shaman Tartuk no who stole relic. Tartuk good. Tartuk good good. Uh, Tartuk is not a real kobold. He deceived you. Sutscale not stupid. He no real kobold. Where is Shaman Tartuk now? Shaman was dungeon. Did not enter sacred hall. Might collapse our entrance. Cobalt Wrath might. Okay, that's all clear to me now. Uh, might, I want to ask you a few questions. I sent your faggot. Here are magnificent warrior queen. Bada! Queen defeats scary wolf battle. Vanquish hundred enemies. Charm hundred hearts. Queen Bada allow you to speak her. May sit. We understand. Legs tremble when see such beauty. My queen. Uh, why did you fight the kobolds? We live here long. Kobolds and mates. We live peace. Friends and trade. Together hunt good shaggy animal. Get it, sweet. Long ago, Chief Cobalt and our old king make good alliance. To branch, old sycamore we take, charm, and give each to other. This be relic. Cobalt have one, might have one. Not long ago, Cobalt come, yell we thief. Take our relic, silly Cobalt. Why do you need these relics? Do relic, they key, give entrance to sacred hall. There, under old sycamore, one key for kobold, one key for knight. Each can go hall, all fair. Why do the kobolds think the relic was stolen by the mites? Kobold, chief, silly, ugly, old. He lose last mind. Listen, no shaman, tartuk, shaman not so ugly. But angry, tricksy, say wicked might. I catch him and make a crown from his skin. Pretty crown. Purple. Do you know where this purple scaled shaman is now? He prowled dungeon near our house. We see he wants, but not catch. Want find shaman. Look under crown. Very well. I have no more questions. 
Um, but like I said, so now you can uh, make a peace, or well, you can attempt to make peace, they won't do it. And you can ask your companions what they think. Uh, and then you could side with one side or the other, but because I'm neutral, this quarrel is your own. I have no wish to be part of it. However, if you allow me to visit your domains, I shall strive to learn the truth. We accept stranger. Go peace our land. But we know truth already. Gobo must pay for his stupid. Stranger, go. Find out might thief. We hit might. Hit, hit. I call shaman Dartuk from underground and hit them bad. And then they fight. And now we don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go up uh, this way and hopefully avoid any stray arrows that might come in and hit us. And then we're just gonna explore around this area till we get to find a way underground. I'm just gonna walk through this fight because it's funny. It's such grand warfare between these minuscule races. So, uh, one of the things I really like about this mission is it kind of uh, portents one of the more important creature types that are going to happen in the game. Kobolds are pretty much in every D&D campaign you ever play. They are one of the first enemies you fight. It's either them or goblins or, you know, those are the two big ones that everybody fights in their first couple of encounters. But the mites are a lot rarer. And it actually shows you that the fairies, or the fae, are going to be an important creature type in this campaign. So if I was playing a ranger who needed a favored enemy, uh, fairy or fae would probably be a really good one to take. So I like that kind of game design, that kind of foreshadowing. But we've come across some dead people. And we can lure nature him. The dead man's face is set in a mask of terror. The body is covered with burns. That doesn't help me at all. It's likely he was struck by lightning. Or burned by a fire. Oh. Well, crap. That means I... Okay, so I actually failed to open this lock. So this box is going to stay locked until I can level up and try again. Which sucks. There are enough supplies to encamp once. Okay, so, and you can spend the night here. This is a noob trap, and I know that because uh, I've fallen for it. Um, you don't want to do this at the level I'm at, because the hint here, down here, was this guy was uh, afraid and burned. So, uh, one of the creatures, if you rest here, you'll be ambushed by a creature. And it's a really difficult creature at the level that I am right now. So we're not going to do that right now. I have to go back to that camp at some point anyways to open the lock box. But we will continue to uh, reduce the population of Tasmanian. This should do it. I didn't want all of you. I wanted just like two of you. You can fight there. And the Mary has been hurt pretty severely. I'll go ahead and heal her up with a cure light wounds. And this is the one big reason why I make sure to kind of just explore everywhere. There are so many hidden little caches of items, as well as apparently invisible centipedes. Which, they're not invisible, they just have a better stealth check than my perception check. But hey, we found a trap. And if Lindsay's trickery continues to be up to snuff, I'm going to 
trigger every single one of these like I did last time. Or she's just gonna fail. Anything else? Okay. She has, I think, a uh, 50-50 shot here. Yeah, she has to roll. Well, it's a little bit better than 50-50. Basically, I have to roll a 10, but if she rolls less than 5, then she triggers the trap because I failed it by 5. So, happy day. We triggered an entangle trap. Thankfully, it wasn't a fireball. Or a... I didn't even see that one. All according to plan. But now we're gonna get out of this. And haha! -ha, all that happened was we were delayed by two seconds. Now I guess it could have been worse if I was actually actively fighting the mites. But I wasn't, so it was just a delay. Okay, and alternatively. You can try and climb up this cliff. I don't think I have anybody with a super good mobility right now, though. So the best person's a Miri, and hers is probably like an eight. Okay, so now that I'm trying to exit the map, all the kobolds and mites that are dying in the field are leaving their stuff. I guess I don't really have to pick up anything. I've got to skin this. Uh, Scenes. I have to make sure I do that on the way out, but I'm just going to pick up the stuff that's worth gold, leave the other equipment, whoops, and off to the depths we go. Alright, so here we are in the might lair, and it looks like they have a bunch of pet centipedes, because they're not attacking us. Now, you saw that hidden thing come up. I think that it's really important that you have two or three characters maxed out on perception just so they can catch all these little hidden boxes hidden or the traps point. or sneaking creatures. But let's talk to Gatekeeper Quaggy. Dazzle, come, good girl. Greeting, ally. You come. Warrior Queen Beta wait you. Queen Beauty as Little Centipede. Uh, what lies ahead? All under Old Sycamore. Here live might and our animals. Careful, some animals still wild. Their deep hole, very dangerous. Up was Cobalt Passage, but now it's broken. Cobalt dropped stones, we lift bridge, no passage. Sad, rich chest lie passage. Big treasure. All lost now. Do you know where the shaman kobold... Or the kobold shaman Tartuk is now? Shaman purple fight? No, not. He run our hole. Throw magic. Queen chase him. Queen know where he... How do I get to this broken passage? Lower bridge bad. Kobold run away on bridge. Pal I make trade, yes? You want passage. I want pretty helmet. You go lower passage. You go lower passage deep. There lie big dead spider. Our great warrior hero mount it until die. Bring me his bug jar. I give you lever for bridge. You're to chest with loot. I make helmet of spider. Sweet. We must go. Farewell. Okay. So hey, we have a side quest from a might. And here are deadly centipedes. Many deadly centipedes. Okay, and everybody's a little bit hurt, so I'll have Harim. Go ahead and channel some positive energy to heal all living things in a circumference. And then we're just going to explore this cavern. That is not far. We're gonna uncover every little inch. Dude, Make sure we don't uh, lose any relic pieces or any special tokens. Be 
because these tokens shall be very important when we find the Might Arcade. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Miri, go ahead and attack this one. Out of our story. And I do believe I have to go back up there into that bigger room. That's why I didn't explore it super carefully. But here is the bridge that Quaggy was talking about. And we're going to look around a bit. A few crudely crafted torture and Mints lie on top of an old crate. Now a makeshift workbench. And these mites seem to have a cobalt prisoner in a pen. Wonder what's going on here. Greeting, ally. We train and best gets reward. You play too, yes? Alright, so now we have an alignment choice. Uh, we can either be good and tell them to let the kobold go. Uh, nah, I don't care. We could be lawful. You may capture or kill enemies, but do not torment them. Just kill them off. Or, and this one's probably the best one, because it gets us a bit of experience, and it gives us a uh, dexterity check. So, uh, a contest. I'm in. It's always more interesting with a live target. Miss! You'll catch Cobalt and train, ally! I wonder if I can do that again. Nope. So, uh, when I first played through, I wasn't sure if that would tick off some people because there is a chaotic evil action. Which means I just have to do a lawful good action and it'll balance it out. It's fine. I will balance my alignment as any good D&D player knows how to do. Yeah, so I'll do an evil act as a paladin, but I'll get an atonement spell. It's okay. Okay, and sometimes the, when these things are stacked like this, it is really hard to find that. Uh, basically, this just says it is a pile of treasure. So we're going to take the mites treasure because they have no rights to property, not in my land. <laughs> They can have all the centipedes they want, though. I don't care about that. Okay, let's explore into here. Alright, and I believe this is a way down into the lower caves. Yep, so that goes down to the second floor. And I will take care of that probably next episode. And then our leader charged forward. I hate we for me. And you'll notice also, uh, since I have, uh, what is this called? Inspect mode on. I can hover over dead enemies and still pick up uh, all of their combat stats. And basically, this is their monster manual uh, entry. So, as you fight monsters and you see more of them, you get perception checks or knowledge checks. And the better you do, the more you, stuff you learn about them. Such as their weaknesses, their strengths, that type of stuff. So... So since I have killed quite a few of these centipedes, I know a lot about them. As it should be. Hello, mites. Again, you have no rights to property, so I'm taking all this stuff that you probably don't even really care about. You're a priest. Do you have anything interesting to say? Nope. In due time. Okay. Continue on. All we really are doing is looking for you Queen Bada. But hey, while we're looking, 
who says that we can't hunt more centipedes and get more experience. Yeah, Lindsay has sadly taken quite a bit of dexterity damage from these things now, which sucks because that is her really good stat for attacking since she is a ranged character. Alright, so here we have a Kobold Comedy Club. Or, not Kobold, Might Comedy Club. And the comedian is up on his stage. And will he tell another joke? Well, no, but they all seem to hate him. So maybe that's for the best. And I picked up a recipe, I think. Yes, I did. This is a recipe for shepherd's pie. Awesome. I love shepherd's pie. And now I can make it in-game. But yeah, so even the mites have comedy and know whether or not they suck at it. And then another storage room. I will say I do like having the tab button because a lot of the stuff looks really difficult when you're just trying to look and see what's interactable. Uh, there's a lot of very similar looking objects and a lot of detail in the graphics. So, And sometimes they just hide things behind dark caverns. Okay, and this is the final room, I believe. Uh, I think this is another exit into the depths. Yep. So, we've got that. Go ahead and pilfer this cheese and onion. If you come here and talk to the guards, they won't let you pass because you don't have the queen's uh, say so. All according to play. So let's talk to the queen. Her Majesty Queen, Warrior Queen Badar, welcome ally her chamber. Just in time, my ally. Shaman Purplehide pass vicious magic under our nose and run sacred sycamore hall. He have relic key. Kobold steal our relic. We can follow not. Who help us? How do I get to sycamore hall? My card let you to door, but you need relic. They are two when half purple hide. Where is second? I know not. Think Kobold chief. Forgive me, my queen. I must go. Um, you can ask him how you can help in their war. She'll just tell you to kill off such scale, but we're playing this neutral, so I don't want to kill off such scale, and I don't want to get a quest failure on my quest screen, so, yeah. But, uh, I think I'm going to call that good for this episode. I went ahead and, uh, explored just a little bit of the overworld before we got into the Sycamore Caves, but... I did go through the entirety of the Mike Caverns. Next time, we're going to go do the second floor, and then after that, we'll uh, hit the Kobold Caverns. So, uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on Pathfinder Kingmaker. See you then.